the coming of the Lord is near. Viewers and subscribers, a pleasant evening. Relatives of six-month-old girl in the usually quiet community of Herlock in the outskirts of Montego Bay can only imagine what the last 36 hours had been like for her. The child's grandmother, DJ and O'Connor, found her in her crib on Monday, roasting with fever. A few steps away, throat slashed was the already decomposing body of the child's mother, 20-year-old Christy McBee. Viewers and subscribers, we are going to highlight this incident right now. But before going on the thing, people, may I ask the item for those subscribe to my channel. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and turn the post notification on. So when time I drop my video them, you get them instantly, just like that. People, go over Instagram, go follow me at Jamaican Drama one Make sure you like and share this video. And also remember to leave a comment in the comment box below. So that we can know and think we can get an opinion on this whole incident. Alright, now let's get into the video. So as I'm saying at the introduction, people, a young mother was brutally murdered, her throat slashed by a monster or by a set of monsters who left her six month old daughter in the room for almost two days without getting any attention while her mother's body lay there and began to decompose. No relatives of the child are traumatized by this ordeal and they can only imagine what the last 36 hours must have been for the child. The child's grandmother, DJ and O'Connor, found her in a crib on Monday, roasting with fever. A few steps away, throat slash was the already decomposing body of her mother. The last time relatives and friends had heard from McBean was just before 10 p.m. on Saturday. That timeline, coupled with the condition of her body, has led to the theory that she was killed the same Saturday night. Now, can you imagine how that child suffered for the two and a half days? She must have been hungry. She must have been thirsty. She must have been dirty. She must have been cold. Now I ask the question, what are we, what are we doing as a people when, since we stop protecting the vulnerable, when, since we stop protecting the women, the children and the elderly? People, we are the roadblocks. We are the protesters. This can continue. This is sad in so many ways. I am thinking about the situation and I am torn up. So if I am feeling like this, can you imagine what the family members are going through? They had to be comforted by friends and other persons from the community. The ordeal was just too much for them to deal with. Now the sister gave an account that she was calling her sister and was not getting through to her so she went to the house where she knocked the door no one answered and she realized that the door was not shut so she pulled the door and went inside only to make the gruesome discovery where she saw her sister's body on the ground with the throat slash and blood coming from the throat area and the nostril she also found her niece in the crib roasting with fever the child was eventually brought to a medical facility where she received treatment and based on information she is now doing well people that child have a purpose on this earth i believe that she survived this ordeal for a specific reason right and i just want everyone to whisper a word of prayer for this family right now because it's the least we can do I do hope that the persons responsible for this gruesome act will be brought to justice. And when I say brought to justice, I don't mean arrest and charge. I mean the real, real justice that they deserve. Viewers and subscribers, thanks for watching this video. You know, take care of yourself. Walk good and love God. Subscribe.